Welcome to Electro Online. Here we have an example very similar to the previous one with the difference that instead of giving us the angle, they gave us the position or the distance to the line that cuts off that top portion of the sphere. So here we have a sphere, we're trying to find the volume of that top portion, and if the radius of the sphere is 5, the distance to the line that cuts off that top portion of the sphere is equal to 4, and so we don't know the angle and we're trying to find the volume of that small little slice off the top of the sphere. So we've already uh, figured out by now, after we've done a few of these examples, that the volume of a cone is equal. That would be the cone shape that includes the top portion and the bottom portion. This would be a right circular cone that's upside down. You add this volume and that volume together, you get kind of like a, an ice cream cone. You have a spherical portion at the top and then you have the cone portion at the bottom, and so the volume of the total cone is equal to the triple integral of dv. The dv would be the volume element of a, in spherical coordinates, and the limits are from 0 to r, from 0 to 2 pi, and from 0 to that angle, which at this point is not known. And then when we calculate that, we end up with 2 pi r cubed over 3 times this portion minus cosine of phi evaluated from 0 to the angle. So what we need to do here is figure out what that angle is equal to. And if this distance right there is equal to r, we'll call that small r, and if this distance here is equal to h, distance of 4, and the angle here is phi. So to find the value of the angle, let's see what we know. We know the adjacent side, and we know the hypotenuse. So we can say that the cosine of the angle phi is equal to the ratio of the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse, which in this case is 0.8. And that means that the angle phi is equal to the inverse cosine of 0 0.8. And let's see here, 0 0.8, take the inverse cosine, that's 36.87 degrees. 36.87 degrees. So now that we have that, we can go ahead and plug that in here. So this would be equal to 2 pi r cubed over 3 times when we plug in and so what we're going to do is replace this now by the angle of 36.87 degrees when we plug in the upper limit we get the cosine of that angle which will be 0.8 but we have a negative sign in front so negative 0.8 and when we plug in the lower limit we subtract the negative which becomes a positive and the cosine of 0 is equal to 1 and so it's equal to 0.2 times this so this is equal to 0.2 times 2 pi r cubed divided by 3, which is equal to 0 0.4 pi r cubed divided by 3. And then if I multiply both the top and the bottom by 5 to get rid of this 0 0.4, then I get uh, 2 over 15, 2 pi r cubed over 15, which is going to be the volume of the total cone. That's not yet the volume of that portion at the top. So the volume at the top is equal to the total volume minus the volume of the bottom portion. So what's equal to 2 pi r cubed over 15 minus, now we gotta calculate the volume of this right here. And let's see here. We know the dimensions. r is equal to 3, because that's a 3, 4, 5 triangle. And to get that, we have the volume of the bottom is equal to one-third the base times the height. And that's, of course, the equation or the formula for a right circular cone, which is equal to one-third the base, which would be equal to, let's see here, the base would be pi r squared times the height h, and of course, r is 3 and h is 4, so that would be equal to 1 third pi times 3 squared, that would be 9, times h, which is 4, so that gives us 9 divided by 3, which is 3 times 4, which is 12 pi. So the volume at the bottom is equal to 12 pi. Now, let's calculate this volume, since we know what r is equal to, r is equal to 125, 125 divided by 15, let's see, 
so that would be 12 pi. So this is equal to 2 pi times 125 divided by 15 minus 12 pi. 125 divided by 5 gives us 25. This divided by 5 gives us 3. So that would be 25 divided by 3. That would be 50 divided by 3, which is equal to 16.67 pi minus 12 pi. And that would be equal to 4.67 pi as our final answer. Or if we multiply things by 3, that would be... Multiply C here. Multiply times 3 divided by 3. That gives us uh, 14 over 3, 14 over 3 pi, in case you like it in a fractional form. All right, so now what we have, we have the volume of that top portion defined by it being 4 away from the center. This distance here will be 3. To calculate that, we calculate the total, the total volume of the ice cream cone, so to speak. We subtract from that the volume of the bottom portion, which is calculated here, and then we end up with the remainder, which is that volume of that little slice at the very top. And that's how it's done.